G'day guys, Cleaver King here. Just making a quick video comparing four V heads, four dot, small dot, and big dot. I'm gonna lay some myths and rumors to rest and show you guys what to look for and how to spot four V heads. Make sure you check out my other videos, guys, and also make sure you smash a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Let's get into it. Alright, so what we're looking at here guys, there's a little bit of glare, try and get a better angle, here's some 4V, 4 dot, closed chamber heads. Now a lot of people online say, you see the 4 dot and it automatically makes some closed chamber. No, it doesn't guys, it's the size of the dot. This is a small dot, and I have another set of heads, which I'll work into the video and I'll show you, which are 4V, 4 dot open chamber right guys it's getting really dark but what i want to show you here quickly is a set of 4v 4 dot large dot open chamber heads it's a pair i've got here and i've seen these guys going on about the dot signifying open or closed chamber look guys these are clearly open chamber 4v 4 dot large dot Alrighty, now I'll get out some closed chamber 4v 4 dot small dot heads. We'll have a bit of a compare. And uh, I'll just show you guys that you can't really just trust everything that you see and read on the internet. This particular set of heads here is even rarer, completely untouched, unported, completely original. I've got all the valve gear and rockers and everything for them. Now these are the sought after closed chamber, 4V heads, large port, check out the size of those ports, huge guys, massive, absolutely massive, and the intake. Alright so what to look for guys when you're going to have a look at a set of 4V heads is you want to see these 5 bolts on the front of the head here. The reason for this extra bolt hole is because of the 302 BOSS having a different alternator alignment, orientation, and they ran a similar head but they had a uniquely smaller chamber than this. Uh, another thing to look for is you want to see that each push rod hole is round individually and that it's not notched because a lot of people do like heavily port 2V heads and try and pass them off as 4V. And if you have a look at these exhaust ports, this is what you refer to as the large port 4V. So 4V, 4 dot, large port. So you've got the 4 on the corner here with the small dot. And it's down here on this corner here too. And on this head. So it's a matching pair. There's no tricks going on here. Now I'll work into the video how the open chamber has a smaller exhaust board with a different shape cut out here and obviously it's got the 72 71 to 72 cc large chamber these ones are a lot smaller and uh, the other ones were machined for roller rockers these ones are completely stock so a lot more desirable all right guys what we've got here is some 4v 4 dot large dot cylinder heads a pair matching fully reconditioned from one of my racing mates in the states stainless steel exhaust valves new intake valves the weights balance out quite well like this they've got a decent spring pack they're real beats rebuilds ready to go so let's have a quick look at this 4v4 dot large dot open chamber don't believe everything you see and read on the internet guys Anyway, thanks for watching. There's a few little tips though. If I've missed anything out, I'll try and do a bit of voiceover or something or leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.